All right, so we detected why there's on this printer why why there's some uh, strange thing things happening over here and uh, a lot of them. The problem is with this uh, the pump and the exit pipe of the pump was unplugged over here and uh, the ink was running over this keyboard over here but this is another one that we've uh, we had uh, as a spare part so this uh, compartment over here is filled with ink over here there were there was a lot of ink going through this uh, compartment over here running over the keyboard over here so the ink went inside the cable over here so it probably did some uh, short circuits over there which were transferred to the motherboard and the head so probably the let me just get rid of this so probably what had happened is that uh, if the short circuit remained on the head over here uh, when we placed in another replacement motherboard over here we burned the, uh, the part that it's reading is reading the cartridges over here on the replacement one so still we had the same problem even if we've replaced the motherboard so now that we've detected where the problem started and it's over here you will see now when we turn on the printer that the mechanism is lifting properly he didn't lift just he turned the shaft just a bit but didn't was lifting the way it's supposed to be lifting and now as a test to prove that the electronics over here on the head that came with the printer this is our test head that we've already put in and we've uh, we did manage an other we put in the third motherboard over here that is surely 100 percent working and this is a test head that we know that the electronics is good on it so now what we want to confirm is that this head that came with the printer if it's uh, gonna show the light over here if it lights up the ink light over here this electronics on the original head burns the uh, motherboard or part that is part on motherboard that is recognizing the ink cartridges so we're gonna see if that's gonna happen uh, if it if it doesn't happen if it managed to read the cartridges over here then uh, prob probably probably uh, it was something was short circuited over here but now it's okay since we've cleaned it let me just i can even show you that just a moment because uh, you can see that this contacts over here are already corroded but we've cleaned it up as good as we could but as you can see there are some uh, corrosion over here and even the traces of the ink over here so that's where the problem was because um, when the owner printed something pop up pop popped off out of here and the one of these tubes and the uh, ink was flowing through the holes over here on the side you have a hole here you have a hole in the back over the keyboard made a short circuit somewhere over there or even the board itself because it's uh everything was drained with the ink over here and short circuit over here caused the short short circuit over there and probably on the head so we burned everything up or the owner did let to be precise so when you have uh problems on uh two or three or four places such as this it's uh, very hard to find what's wrong with the printer but uh, we've determined all other things we're just gonna and already burned one one motherboard we're gonna 
burn this one just to be sure and of course the motherboards can be repaired but of course each time it's an expense for you if you burn another one so let's see if it if we're gonna manage to reset or read the cartridges over here we're good so sometimes the head can burn motherboard uh, right away doesn't even doesn't even read anything doesn't even uh, start the head clean and sometimes the motherboard is burned after one head clean so let's let's just see what's gonna happen now we are sure that all other things are okay except the head we don't know what the head and what condition the head is right now but probably it will burn the motherboard over here so let's see if it's gonna happen right away if it happens right away it's gonna signal the ink light over here and if it uh, if it's gonna happen later we'll start one head clean and see if it's gonna happen then but we do expect it to happen so let's see it didn't burn I think it won't burn right away all right so so this is good uh, maybe we can even print something out and maybe even maybe we should do that but uh, it's not gonna do us any help maybe we can print now until the first head clean that's gonna be started so let's try to start one head clean and let's see if it's gonna burn out so we've cleaned the pump also the pump wasn't uh, folding and unfolding the wiper properly so now it does now it's okay but what we're gonna get here is a uh, questionable it didn't didn't pump much through the head so there is also oh yeah we didn't open the this over here is closed so we'll do that later if it turns out that the head is good but i don't think so i really don't think so Okay, so it's almost done. Let's see if it's gonna burn it or not. It's not gonna be uh, fireworks, something like that. It's just gonna light up the ink over here. Okay, so this is general error. This is something else. I don't know why that has happened now. And could be also that the general error is uh, because of the head. Let's try one more time. Okay, so this is an automatic head clean. I didn't have to start it started itself okay so we got some even got some ink flowing over here So the pump is working okay. Oh, we've managed to clean that up, but still, we don't know 
how the head's gonna react. There's also the spring, I've just noticed the spring is missing over here for the capping station so we should be putting that back. You can see it's doing a general error. So this is this is a new moment, let's try one more time with uh, maybe it's the problem with the table sensors down uh, from below. Let's check it out one more time. So the table was. Uh, oh yeah. And now we've burned the. Uh, we've burned the motherboard different way. So if you can see the signal. Uh, hear the signal. Sorry. I don't know if you can hear it on camera, but we now blow the power supply input of the power supply on the motherboard so definitely something is not right with this head uh, one motherboard uh, burned like uh, the part that recognizes the cartridges and this motherboard burned uh, burn the input for the power supply so definitely we should get rid of this head it's definitely not gonna work there's some problems with the electronics on the head and it's not working so now that's another expense if you want to repair this burned motherboard but at least you've determined where the problem is and how to solve it so definitely we have to get rid of this head Although it's it has almost perfect nozzles, almost everything every nozzle is firing, but uh, that's not going to do us any good because the electronics are faulty on it. So we have to get rid of it. All right. So now we know where the problem is. We're gonna have to put in a new head and repair the motherboard. So I'm going to do now what I can do at the moment. I'm going to place this thing back and uh, uh, we're going to have to clean the inside that has got ton, tons of ink inside the casing over here. We're going to clear, clean that up. <clears throat> so I'm going to just be quick with this one. So the interesting part with the uh, ink inside the printer over here that we're going to clean now is that it has been uh, pumping the ink inside the casing for quite a long time because I already uh, cleaned so something out. There's uh, still a, a lot of uh, residue and ink inside. And the strange thing is that there's a hole in the middle, so I don't know how the owner didn't notice that the ink is flowing on the table where the printer is standing. That's that's strange. How did that happen? But it already happened, so we don't have to cry about it now. So you can see there's a lot of residue, a lot of dense ink over here. So that means that the lighter, lighter part of the ink was flowing on the table. And I don't know how that got unnoticed by the user or 
maybe it was simply ignored so could be that he was working until it was working like that and when it stopped working he brought it for repair but that's way too much ink inside not to be aware of some problems with the printer and now this problem has caused a lot of other problems besides this one that the uh, tube has popped off the pump or the capping something has popped off and now we get a messy mess and the burned electronics everywhere on the printer but we get all kinds of uh, problems over here and I'm not that surprised either because we already had some strange problems and strange happenings before So as you can see, and uh, this is a DTG or DTF ink, which is not that uh, aggressive. If it were a UV ink or something like that, all of this uh, paint of the ca casing would be peeling off and might even be worse than this, but it doesn't really get much worse than this when you burn everything everything except the cables maybe even oh yeah the the contact board over here was okay somehow it survived but other than that every important thing basically has to be replaced the keyboard also the keyboard has uh, has been uh, drained with the ink probably the whole time because there's hole over here just above the keyboard over here you can see that is mounted over here so we're gonna have to replace that too this that's the reason why the lifting mechanism was not working as it should be because something was connected on the electronic of the keyboard so very strange how all of that has happened but it is so now we have to make everything 100% operable again so you see each time I put my hands inside I take out some more ink so we're gonna be dealing with this some more but I guess we have pull out most of it out so we got this uh, motherboard that we've uh, that was burned before we got it fixed and we have to install it now back so we did have to burn a few boards in order to get the conclusion to what exactly is wrong with the printer so now that we know that we have to put everything back and uh, try again to see if it's gonna work so we are gonna have to replace besides the repair of the motherboard we're gonna have to replace the keyboard which is soaked with ink and that was of 
flowing all around the printer, dripping from the pump. And also the short circuit that happened over there and on the motherboard also made the uh, shed electronics faulty and it was a brand new head that the owner installed but in a bad moment so all of that got burned and we cannot use any of that no more we're gonna have to get some new stuff inside that's just the way it is because if we we cannot do anything about the head we cannot fix that because it's fixed on the industrial level it cannot be fixed in the shop so we're gonna have to replace that with the new or uh, in this case it will be new but also if we had any functional used one would be good also but we don't have that at the moment tested this board with another power supply and another printer everything works fine so this is gonna be good on this part all right so we got that placed back we're good over there and now we're gonna have to replace this keyboard now we have to uh, this is the old keyboard we have to install the new one inside this carrier original carrier for the printer because it's not gonna stand on its own so this uh, replacement keyboard has a metal protection of the electronics from behind which is not the case with the one that we are trying to remove okay so this will go over here and this will go over here so you have this uh, dispensers over here that go below the carrier so we're gonna put that the way it was it's kind of hard to hit it from uh, the first time you, from the first try so a few tries maybe to get it right not as easy as it looks like okay i think i got that one all the way so you see that uh, it's lifting lifting the electronics up if you don't
if you don't hit the hole right. <coughs> Let's see. I think I got it. Center it a bit. Okay. Think we're good. So now it has to be put inside the printer. So we've cleaned the insides over here and also this cable. We've decided to keep it as it is because it's not that corroded. There are traces of ink but very little should be okay so we decided to keep that one as it is okay i'm gonna put it back so uh, sometimes when we change the keyboard we have to be careful to uh, center the keyboard because sometimes this uh, top bottom, bottom can be pressed if you uh, if the screws are too tight and the keyboard is not centered more to the lower position so it could be that you're gonna have a problem with pressing this top button so we're gonna have to check to see if it's gonna if it's gonna be able to if we're gonna be able to press it Sometimes it could be a problem. And when this happens, you have to center it, uh, remove the keyboard again, and center it more to the lower position. One more thing that we've noticed only the yellow cartridge on the C system was completely empty and why is that it's because the seal of the seal on the spring that goes on the torn on the head is uh, not closing the cartridge properly so the ink uh, when we fill it up the ink is slowly dripping out of the cartridge so that one has to be replaced so we're gonna take it off and you can see that there are drops falling slowly out. Uh, we will take this off and be replaced with uh, replace it with another one. This is the new one that's going to go instead of this one. And also we'll try to put this ink that we've already filled the cartridge with back in the outside tank. So sometimes this happens because uh, this is the this that is basically keeping the head uh, the middle two channels uh, moisturized and the owner does so with with an ink so he does move this this puts it on and takes it off a lot so sometimes it, this happens and if it does the cartridge has to be replaced as soon as possible because uh, uh, 
and not only that you use uh, loose ink but also uh, you might you might not uh, notice that the cartridge uh, cartridge is empty so you might uh, not print a few days and you keep empty cartridge on for a few days maybe even a, a week or so and that's not really good for the head so we were gonna, are gonna use this seal that it's already on the old one place it on the new one Sometimes if you are not careful you might lose this seal, it falls inside the hole if you push it too hard. So this is the way you do it, you uh, place it on the top of the tube, then try to push it in. Alright, so this is the holder. Okay, so now you have to make way for the air to come out so you have to unplug this plug on the top and now you can see when you lift up the outside tanks we should be able to see the cartridge slowly filling and the way it has to be filled is like this uh, but on this particular cartridge which is with only one chamber it's much easier to fill it properly than with two chambers so you sh uh, could be good also if you put it uh, horizontally but this is a better way because you're gonna fill it right up to the hole that is over here on the top so we want to fill it as much as possible we don't want to have any pockets of air inside if we can avoid that so that's what we're gonna do and it's filling up pretty fast because this is a new cartridge and the filter that is on the entrance of the cartridge is completely clear so when we fill it up we're gonna place it back on the head of course we're gonna replace the head before this one more thing we have to do before we go to the head replacement is we want to lubricate this main shaft over here and maybe if you can uh, see on the camera this uh, smudges or piles of ink that's actually ink that is being dissolved in the oil so it's good thing that you lubricate this shaft from time to time and uh, the best thing to do is to also lubricate it a couple of times so you can uh, clean up this dissolve, dissolved uh, ink over here and especially it's even more important with the UV printer because the UV ink is uh, pretty aggressive on the carrier over here on the plastic that uh, slides on the shaft but also you can see that there's a lot of uh, this misty ink stick to the shaft which is wearing it down wearing the carrier down and we don't want that we want it to keep everything clean as uh, clean and functional as long as possible so this is a pretty good uh, 
there's hardly any resistance when I moved so see what I mean hardly any resistance when I moved the head left and right and uh, you already know if you've seen some of the previous videos how we get the head in this position so we can move it by hand all right i think that we've cleaned most of it off we're just gonna it is pretty dirty but doesn't have to be 100 percent clean but it's good to keep this thing well lubricated from time to time a few more drops and i think we should be good so you see you have to wait until the drop falls on the beneath okay i think we're good with this also what has to be clean is this uh encoder strip over here and as you can see it's smudged over here so we're gonna have to we're gonna clean the whole thing but especially these smudges they have to be removed yeah probably the owner to this point didn't notice that anything is printing wrong but we don't want anything on the encoder strip or we it might get wrong one day so also also you can see some smudges over here it might print wrong one day if you don't keep it clean okay i think that's okay and we're gonna clean this plastic piece over here also which is also pretty dirty because of the dust and the ink the mist that is uh, happening during the printing that goes into air and out on the shirt okay we are good with this and also we're gonna try to pull this thing out and replace it with something that's gonna also soak up the ink okay we're just gonna place it in the soaker and then we're gonna maybe this also can be scraped off with something any kind of screwdriver will do because you might get head might get stuck over here if it if it piles up the ink so this also should be clear okay I think we're good that's it okay so after we've done all the checks there's only one thing more left to do is to uh, put the new head and hopefully everything would be okay after that because all other things are that had to be repaired or change changed are already done so this is a test head that we use to check whether the, there's a problem only in the board, but there 
there's also a problem with the head over here so we have to use that test head to eliminate one question so now we're gonna put a new one inside and do a couple of head cleans and we should be should be good we should be having CNY cast tests heads are changed so just you have to be careful not to bend the pin or something when you plug in the cables and you have to be careful not to damage the threads back cable cover goes back and this system we had to replace one cartridge that was uh, leaking from beneath we had to replace that one it's the yellow now we should uh, let me just see how the this is folding. Hmm. This is gonna be a bit more complicated without the cover, but we're gonna hold it in hand when we do the head clean. Hook up the power supply. Alright, power on. So this is fixed to the main cover from the outside, so I'm just gonna have to hold it for the start. <coughs> So it signalizes cartridge. Let's see if we need to. It signalizes only one cartridge, so probably the this didn't sit down properly. Let's see if I'm gonna be able to reset it. Okay, that's good. So now the automatic reset is initialized and there's some movement around here in the pipes. So we also check the pumps, I should be working good. But it's gonna probably need one more, one more turn. Because uh, there's uh, mostly air and alcohol now in the pump, so the system has to be filled with ink. So we 
should probably do another one after this one is finished. And this is 1319, so we don't have to wait two minutes for for the next head clean to be done. see that the ink is going through the pipes so that's a very good sign that's what we need so we know that the capping station is covering the head from beneath the way it's supposed to be and that there's a pressure inside the pump and also now you can see that the system has been filled with this second cleaning so this is now ink in the pipes instead of just alcohol in air These smudges over here are the ink, dissolving ink that got stick to the shaft, but because we've lubricated it, it's slowly dissolving, so if there's need, uh, you can clean that also, but we've already done that already, so if there's some small amount of ink, it's no problem. Okay, so now we're going to put some paper on and try the CMYK test. And this is our second test. We've already printed one uh, before this one, but as you can see, now everything should be the way it's supposed to be. Everything's good. We got all four inks on. So basically, we're done with this one. We just have to. Uh, assemble everything back that we've uh, covers and so so pr basically we are done with this one so that will be all for this one